Hey guys, how's it going? I just made a video of me deleting videos that have to do with the rapture and revelation. Um, and I was talking during that, and I was talking about how I'm getting a new book today, and I just got it, so I should, might as, figured might as well show it. And, you know, sometimes I'm showing these books, and I have a lot of books that I haven't shown and stuff too, but um, just because other people might be interested in buying books, if you want to do some really hardcore, in-depth Bible study and stuff, some of you guys might be interested in this. You know, instead of just using my website and my resources that I offer, if you want to look at other things, um, this is really interesting. This is the Treasury of Scripture Knowledge. Okay? Um, I don't know how much it was. It says 15 bucks on here, but uh, I think I might have got it for almost like 10 bucks or something. It really wasn't that much, and it's really thick. But what it is, is it's just a huge reference book. Okay? It's like dense, it's just packed. See, all that is is references to verses. Okay? So. It's kind of similar to a concordance in a way, but not really. You know, it just goes verse by verse, and then it just lists uh, tons of references for each verse. And basically, you know, you can get the same thing if you go to BibleHub.com. You know, they'll have, like, different Bible translations, and then they'll have commentaries, and then, like, on the right, they'll have references and stuff. So the references, they probably use this. I wouldn't be surprised. You should be able to even find this online for free, probably. But I like ha having the paper and the actual books, and this is really nice because this is a hardback. You know, I'm learning that when you get really big books, it's nicer to have a hardback. I bought that figures of speech used in the Bible, and it was paperback. I uh, should have got the hardback. but It's fine, but they could fall apart easier. That hasn't fell apart yet, but it is good to get hardback when you're going for the bigger books. Um... But you might be interested in this. It's uh, got to be really resourceful. Like I said, now that you have the internet and on your cell phone and everything, it's not really necessary. But, you know, back in the day before all that, these books were it. I mean, <laughs> this would have been like a huge help. And it still is. You know, whenever I'm going to do like an expository, like verse by verse, I can use this. And I can look at like all the references that they mention. I'm not saying that all of them are perfect or that they don't miss some or whatever, but... This just gives you a, you know, something huge to work with. So I can go verse by verse in the expository and, and show, you know, familiar passages that are similar and stuff, speaking about the same subject or whatever. Very interesting. So I forget if there was something else that I was going to say. Oh, yeah, this book's written by this Tory guy. I wonder if he did anything else. But I, I mentioned that I have the Tories topical textbook where it goes through and it gives, you know, references for different things. Like it says leprosy. It's got leprosy and then it says leprosy is a common disease among the Jews. And then it says Luke 4, 27 to see that. And then it says... It lists people that were infected by le leprosy, men infected by leprosy in Luke 17.12, women affected by leprosy in Numbers 12.10. So this is a really great book, too, a reference. So if I just wanted to do a study on leprosy, let's, like, let's just talk about leprosy in the Bible, then bam. i got a whole bunch of stuff I can already go through. And I could go through each of those verses and then give a more detailed explanation of each of those verses, you know. So I could just use this as like a backbone to start like a really easy, quick study. And then go into depth a little bit more beyond this. And then there you go. You got like a really nice study. Uh, you know, this isn't perfect. I'm sure it teaches some things wrong. But it's a great, great help anyways. So they, these are really good stuff to have. Uh, so again, this is just the treasury of scripture knowledge. I've got a few more books coming on apologetics and, you know, logical fallacies. Uh, but that might be it for a while. But yeah, somebody quoted that I was spending my UPS money to buy these books, and I am. So, you know, I made sure that I saved up enough money to where I was taken care of for a little while after work ended. And uh, a sister donated some money and helped me out a lot. So that helped me out even more. And I wasn't even expecting to work like the last couple of weeks, but I did work a couple days each. So that's like 100 bucks each week. So I made like 200 extra bucks. So I'm just like, okay, I'm just going to stock up on more books right now because... You know, I don't really have to worry about stuff for a little while, uh, getting things taken care of. I'm not going to have the breath machine payment. I'm not going to have the fine I was paying on. 
I'm going to have my insurance paid up. So basically, all I have to worry about now is just the uh, the stuff on the website and stuff. It's not very much. And so, and you know, do whatever side jobs are offered. I'll be looking for more work and stuff. But I want to devote a lot more time to the ministry in the next few months and see how much I can get done. Because I feel like I've really been slacking for quite some time. And, you know, I'm paying monthly to have a website. I'm paying monthly to have sermon audio. And I'm not adding studies to it. So I have to sit down and do this. You know, there has to be some major progress and improvements in this stuff. So, anyways, there's another book for you to look into. Um, Big reference book. So, God bless.